Hopping right in onto today's look, I'm going to be starting off by priming my face using my Benefit Professional. Quickly, I'm going to move on to my foundation. I'm going to film an updated foundation routine. So all I'm doing here is applying the Revlon Colorstay Foundation in Caramel and I'm using the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. For my concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Conceal, Conceal Concealer in the shade Medium, I believe. It's pretty much the darkest shade that they sell. I think it's like medium to deep, but I'm going to be applying that on the under eyes, the cupid's bow, and my chin. Then I'm going to be taking a BS Small brush and blending everything out. For my eyeshadow primer, I like to start off by using the same concealer because it conceals the darkness on my eyelids. Then I use the same BS Small foundation brush and just tap everything off. And then I also like to use a sponge to go in and soak up any excess um, concealer that I have on my eyelids. That way when I apply my translucent powder and the eyeshadows, it's not going to be cakey. Now to set the under eyes, I'm going to be using a Morphe 348 brush and I'm going to be using the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm going to be setting that on my eyelids and I'm also going to be using the same powder to set my under eyes. I'm not baking in today's video because my skin has been quite dry so I'm just going to go in and just set everything that way there is no creasing. Recently, I placed a order with Morphe and I'm going to be doing a review on their brushes because guys, they're actually really, really nice. The only place that I like to bake is my chin because my chin seems to break up when I apply foundation there. So that's all I do and then I just dust it off. Today for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. For the transition shade, I'm going to be starting off with the shade Burnt Orange and that, like I said, that's just going to be my transition shade and I'm using a BS Small Blending Brush. For my, pretty much the main color of the look, I'm going to be using the shade Love Letter and I have no idea how to say this. Venetian red Venetian red I think that's how you say it but I'm going to be applying that to the crease and the outer V and just blending it out because I want that smoky blown out effect for today's eye look I don't think I mentioned the brush that I'm using but I'm using a MAC 221 SE Pretty much I'm just going back in and doing everything that I did on my right eye to my left eye. Now I'm just going back in with the same brush that I used to apply the transition shade and blending it. That way there is no harsh lines in the shadow. For the lid shade, I'm taking the shade Primavera and applying it all over the lid and I'm just using the Urban Decay brushes that come in the Naked palettes. Here I'm going back in and touching everything up because I did feel like the shades needed to be blended with the transition and lid shade because I didn't like how harsh the lid shade came off. I know you can't really tell on camera but in person you definitely could.
Taking these two shades that I applied on my lid as the main color, I'm going to be running it on my lower lash line and connecting it to the upper lash line. That way, everything is nice and seamless. The brush that I'm using is the Morphe E18. To highlight the brow bone, I'm just going in with the shade Primavera. I believe the brush that I'm using is a flat lid brush from either Wet n Wild or e.l.f. Taking my ABH contour kit and my IT Cosmetics powder brush, I'm just going to be bronzing the face with the shade Havana. Mixing these shades Java and Fawn from the ABH Contour Kit, I'm just going to be carving out my cheekbones and my jawline. I contoured my nose off camera and it does come off a bit harsh, but I promise it's not that harsh in person. And then throughout later on in the video, I just go back in and blend it out a little bit more. Now to clean up the contour, I'm taking the Real Technique Complexion Spun and some Cody Air Spun Translucent Powder and I'm just going underneath the contour and carving it out. I'm not baking, I go in with the Morphe um, E48 and just blush, blush, what the heck, just brush everything away. I cannot remember the name of this blush off the top of my head, but I'm just going in with a Sephora blush blush brush I cannot say that tonight and I'm just going to be applying that to the apples of my cheek and swiping it backwards that way there is no harsh lines on my blush taking champagne pop and the morphe m310 I'm just going to be highlighting the typical places the bridge of my nose tip of the nose tops of my cheekbones and cupid's bow guys today i bought prosecco pop and i cannot wait to apply it on my face because i swatched it and it's absolutely stunning oh my gosh i cannot wait to use it in my upcoming video plus it was like the last one out of three so i was so excited to get my for my lipstick that. today i'm going in with my liquid lippy in kat von d because i thought it paired very nicely with the eyes and it wasn't too overpowering Thank you all for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will definitely speak to you guys in my next video. Bye!